Hey everyone, Steve here from TechGrove. Today we're tackling a problem that a lot of Android users face, the FRP lock. It's that frustrating feature that blocks you from using your device unless you have the previous owner's info. But don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'm going to show you multiple ways to remove the FRP lock. And the best part is, these methods work on any Android device, no matter the brand or country. So, let's dive in and get your device back in action. This info is for those who legally own their device and need to unlock FRP. We do not support illegal actions like bypassing security on stolen devices. Respect the law and others' rights. Our video follows YouTube's guidelines. Let's get started. Type in safeunlocks.com, navigate to services, and select the FRP Unlock option. Start by entering your name and email address. Ensure the information is correct and accessible, since you will receive all unlocking details via email. Next, select the device brand you want to unlock and enter your IMEI number. Accept the terms and conditions. To find your IMEI number, check the back of your phone or under the battery for some models. Another place to look is the SIM card tray. Once you have the IMEI number, verify all the information and click the Proceed button. You will be redirected to your order page and should receive an email with the unlocking details. Follow the steps provided to activate your order. Watching the tutorial video can help clarify the process. After completing the activation, you will receive a membership ID associated with your order. Enter this ID in the membership identification box and activate your order. Ensure your device is turned off before doing this. Finally, you will receive a confirmation email indicating the unlocking process is complete. Once you receive the confirmation email, restart your device to complete the unlocking process. You will see a screen verifying the information. After this process concludes, follow the entire setup procedure without adding any accounts and proceed with the device's default configuration. Upon completion, go to your device settings to ensure that no accounts are associated with the device. This will help you verify your device information and ensure its authenticity. It's important to know that these unlocking services mostly work in first world countries. If you can't access the services or prefer not to use them, we offer 250 unlocks every week for users who watch our videos. Simply like this video, subscribe and comment with your Android phone model, like a Samsung S9, your IMEI and your country. Once you complete these steps, you will be automatically enrolled. Another ethical and legal way to remove the FRP lock from your phone is by contacting the original owner and asking them to unlock the device using their Google account credentials. If the original owner is unavailable, you can reach out to the device's manufacturer or the carrier it was purchased from. They might provide assistance if you can prove ownership with the original receipt or proof of purchase. Additionally, some third-party services and professional phone repair shops offer FRP removal services. Make sure to choose reputable and certified professionals to avoid any risks associated with unauthorized methods. Always ensure that any service used complies with legal standards and does not violate the terms of service of the device or the manufacturer's policies. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If everything worked for you or if you have any questions, leave a comment below.